Hi guys, welcome to my channel, and I want to introduce you a very useful dev tool. You can use it to debug WebSocket like a pro. So this is how it looks like on your dev panel. And let's see what it can do. It can proxy WebSocket, simulate message, and block the send and receive message. And also it works on the background, so you will never miss a connection. Let's install it from the Chrome store. And make sure you enable this extension. Okay, let's go to the WebSocket King, a very useful website. You can debug on this website. And we are going to use it to do this demo. Let me open our dev panel like this. Go to the WebSocket dev tool. Yeah, you can see here is the connection we created just now. And when you send hi, you will receive hi. That is how the echo WebSocket works. And then I'm going to show you the second main feature, blocking message. I think this is very useful and most of the WebSocket dev tool didn't do that. In this way, incoming message will be blocked like this. You can tell there is a block label. And also you can block send and when you send the message again, it was blocked. And also, you can block all message right here. All right, the last main feature is simulation message. You can open the simulation panel. And to send or receive simulation message. And I think that is very straightforward and very easy to use by clicking the button. And let me show you how the JSON parse is supported on our dev panel. If you have a very complicated JSON like this, it's nested. You can use nested parse to process this data. And also you can revert this change. And if you want to do some simulation, and you can click the send button and nestly pass it and change our value from like this one from the USA to China. And now you will receive a message instead of USA, but to China, which means you don't need to rely on the backend. Also, if there are some messages you use frequently, you can add them to your favorites like this. Name it and save it. So you can reuse them again in a very quick way. Receive it and send it. The system event is also supported. You can simulate client close or server close and or any kind of error here. And let's create a connection. And if you want to close it quickly, you can click this button. And we are going to close it. Finally, if you want to create a connection in our dev tool, we can also do that. Yeah, it really looks like a WebSocket client. So you can create a connection, debug it, simulate it, and do anything in our WebSocket dev tool panel. Yeah, that's it. That's the introduction of the WebSocket dev tools. If you are interested in, welcome to our GitHub to explore more. Thank you.